What's up guys, my name is Luke, and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to cast out demons in six steps. This is for all my fellow believers out there. So before we get started, let's see what Jesus says about the average believer. It says in Mark 16, verse 17, and these signs will follow those who believe. And what's the first one on the list? In my name, they will cast out demons. That's right, cast out demons. So here we go, step one, know the authority you have in Jesus. In Luke chapter 10, verse 19, it says, behold, I give you the authority to trample on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you. So God has given us this authority and the devil can't touch us. Step number two, do not be afraid. Don't fear. Every time I talk about demons with people, they get all scared and afraid. No, Jesus says you have authority over them. So they have to submit to you. Step number three, talk about the things that could possibly hinder that person's freedom. For example, lack of repentance, not really wanting to let go of their sin. Generational curses. Are there things that your family has done in the past that is affecting you now? The occult. Are there witches and warlocks in your family? Or have you yourself participated in witchcraft? Have you played with the Ouija board? Soul ties. How many relationships have you been in? Are those relationships dictating how you live your life now? Maybe you need to confess those soul ties. Unforgiveness. That's a big one. Jesus says, I can't even forgive you if you're not willing to forgive others. And separated by water baptism. I've actually casted out demons in baptism because the demons are connected to the old man, the flesh that has not yet been put to death. So if they haven't been baptized, that's definitely something that they need to do as well. Step number four, address the spirit with authority in regards to what that person is struggling with. For example, if they struggle with fear, you command that spirit of fear to come out now in the name of Jesus. You speak with authority. For example, like a dog misbehaving, you say, no, no, you don't do that. These demons, all they want to do is steal, kill, and destroy your life. We're not supposed to be nice to them. And a little tip, make sure that you have a trash bag. I have filled Publix bags of throw up and blood and coughing. So just have that on the side for them. All right, I know it sounds a little disgusting, but it's the reality. And don't forget this, that the Bible says that they came out in loud screams and that they caused people to fall and roll all over the floor. So don't be surprised if you see that as well. Number five, be attentive to the Holy Spirit. Maybe there's something you're missing, or maybe there's something that person is missing and the Holy Spirit will reveal it to you if you're sensitive and attentive to what he's trying to say. And number six, you have to fill that house. What does the Bible say? When you cast out a demon, it'll come back seven times stronger if that house is not filled. It's not good enough for it to be clean. It needs to be filled. And how do we fill it? With the word, with prayer, being around other other believers. We're not called to be an island. We're supposed to do life in community. So with all that being said, go and exercise the authority that Jesus has given you.